What is going on guys, FMU here and welcome to what is probably going to be the biggest, well it is definitely so far, the biggest game in our little club's history. Uh, before we get into that, here's how we've got on in the recent games since last you saw this ugly mug. We came up against Barwell in the replay and played them off the park, basically. A lot of bookings for us, a lot of fouls for us. Fouls seems to be very high uh, for us at the moment. I don't know if it's because just of the quality at the moment, but it's not normally part of the philosophy or the tactic that I use. So it's very odd, but as you can see, a lot of people got kicked in this match. Somebody's just sent me a message. The swine. That was followed by a rather disappointing performance against Blythe Spartans, but it was quite a close uh, fixture to the last one, so not a lot of recovery time for the players. Uh, we lost 1-0, Danny Lloyd with the goal, can't really have any complaints, it was a bit of a piss poor game, in all fairness. We then travelled to Alfreton, uh, a team I used to date, do this underdog save with a few years ago, uh, and beat them by four goals to one. Uh, Jim Owen and... and, and <laughs> learn to speak... And a hat trick for Ali Fringpong won us the match. We played really, really well and uh, was really pleased with the outcome of that match. We then uh, travelled to Telford in the third round qualifier. This would be three games against Telford in a week. Uh, we played them away, like I say, and drew nil-nil. Uh, pretty poor game, really. I'm trying to fight back a sneeze here. Uh, we didn't do uh, particularly well. We didn't do anything right. <laughs> But then again, we didn't do anything wrong. Oh man, I paused that just in time. You missed out on the loudest sneeze in the world. Uh, we played them in the replay and absolutely smashed the shite out of them uh, by five goals to one. Uh, Mitch Williams, Owen Frimpong and Burnett with his first, or Burnett, sorry, with the uh, first game for the club. Uh, Wilson got one for Telford, but we dominated them and fully deserved the win. We then added to that in the league with an Ali Frimpong hat trick. Uh, he played fantastic in that game. Schofield picked, but not. Luckily, it wasn't anything spectacularly, you know, important. He did uh, he did come back for the next game, I believe. Uh, but yeah, they had a lot more chances than us. They had a lot more opportunities, but we were the more clinical in front of the goal with the boyfriend pong up top. We then beat Buxton to get us into the first round proper of the FA Cup, uh, thanks to McDonnell Roberts' 68th minute goal. It was an even game up until around about the 50th minute when we really started to assert our dominance. That was in front of 848 fans, which uh, just fell shy of the Telford game, which I believe was higher. I think it was 900 something for Telford, which broke our record attendance. We then went to Worcester and lost by two goals to nil. We were pretty damn poor in this game. We did have a lot of opportunities, but they weren't like good ones. They were long range thumpers and stuff like that that just flew wide. It was a poor performance from us. I think a lot of the games that we've been involved in just caught up with us a bit on this day and uh, it just got a little bit too much for us to handle in such a short space of time with all the replays. That being said, we did manage to get a 2 all draw home to Hensford, who have not had the best of seasons. As you can see, a really even game, but Owen and Frimpong getting us the goals. Um, Frimpong's just been on absolute fire, and I'm really looking forward to the next match to see how he fares against our opponents. Okie dokie then, so you've probably, the astute of you out there, clicked on that we are playing the FA Cup first round next, our first ever venture into the first round proper of the FA Cup in our first ever season in the FA Cup, which is an amazing achievement. Now, I normally, when I get to these stages and the draw happens, I get somebody from the same league as me or the league below or the league one above. I don't get a football league team. Well, We've got a football league team and we are away at said football league team. But the best bit is, it's a local derby, which is pretty freaking awesome. We have been drawn away at Coventry City. It is going to be a hell of a game. We're missing Josh Lundstrom and Daryl Clare. They're missing Mason Holgate and uh, Brimacon, Brimacombe Ward. Josh Brimacombe Ward. Not sure who he is, whether he's perhaps one of their kids there. 
But uh, they are 13th in League One. Craig Short is now the manager there. Uh, let's have a quick look at they got Sordell up top. Ouch. Um, Wallace. Burgess, decent goal. They've got Ricketts at the back. Stokes was on loan at Crew a few years ago. Uh, they've got this guy, uh, Gadzev. I don't know if he's any good or not. Wow, he's got quite a few goals for them. He looks a decent prospect. 1.2 million. Shit the bed. He, uh, he looks good. He looks very good. But yeah, they're, they're 13th in League One as it stands. Um, 23, only three points off the playoffs, mind. But yeah, they're, uh, they're gonna be an absolute nightmare to play against, I think. Uh, in terms of ourselves in our season, how it's going, we've dropped down to sixth, but it is such a close league that a couple of wins we could be top. You know, it's that, it's one of those. It's, it's gonna be, it's good. A lot of this t- season is gonna depend on how we folk, how we focus, how we perform in the second half of the season. And, uh, booed that uh, Jim Gannon has been sacked. I repeat, booed Jim Gannon has been sacked. Also, your bottom of the league. Come on, booed. Get in there. Sort it out. Come on. You can do it. You know you can. Um, yeah. So that is that. So far in the league, so good. Much better than what I thought we were going to do. I, I expected us at the most to be around about 12th, 13th at the most that was where I was expecting us to be in and around for most of the season but we've been looking at the signing the the finding of Frimpong which by the way director of football well done um, that made a massive difference because without Frimpong um, we wouldn't be scoring as many goals that's for sure and it would probably be a very different story so massive 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 thank you to him uh, to the uh, director of football his stats are starting to go up still uh, not as much as they had done when he originally joined he had that kind of early boost where he came in and started training and quite a lot of things all went up by like a point or something uh, he's doing okay with that who else was it there was one other guy who was the other guy who was absolutely nailing home the uh, improvements Schofield, he was, his have calmed down a bit now as well, but his were quite high as well uh, a few weeks back. So today, huge game. Huge, huge game. We're missing Lundstrom, which is a big blow. Um, but we're going to go with, I'm just going to quickly check. Oh, it's replaced Cobb. I can't do that to Cobb. Sorry, I can't do that to Cobb. I can't drop him for the match. He's too much of a, valid asset and I'm sorry I'm a fan but you can come out for Adi Bowler and you can come onto the bench for Riley so we're going to go with Palmer Joe Evans Coyne Cohen Cobb uh, Hickman Burnett Burnett I keep saying Burnett Burnett uh, Burnett William Schofield Owen and Frimpong then Colcutt uh, Welsh Hayes Holt McDonald Roberts Stenson Evans and former country striker, might I add, Dealey Adibola on the bench. So I need to remember to switch the highlights on, because as always, I switch them off when I'm not toodlooing. Okay, and um, that is that. Uh, just double check, I've got... Yeah, that's fine. So I just wanted to double check that I had the uh, pause button set to the right one. And we're off at the Rico against the mighty, mighty, wonderful Coventry who have scored after 43 seconds. Sorry, I could hear something outside that kind of took my attention. Here we go. Sorry about that, guys. So, Chin here with the cross, poor defending, poor from the goalkeeper, and Marvin Sordell's never going to miss from there. 1-0 to City. After 43 seconds. Ouch. Schofield plays it out to Cobb. Owen. Oh, he's lost it. This could be number two straight away. Marvin Sordell. Here they come again. And it's saved and cleared off the line. And Sordell's headed it over. Jesus fucking Christ. My life amongst us. Wait, my life amongst us? My life. My, my, I can't even speak anymore. It was bad. Let's say it was a bad start to the game. That's what I'm trying to get out. 
but they're coming at us again and they've got a second. Marvin Sordell with two goals inside 15 minutes. Uh, we need to... I think I left it on attacking. That doesn't help. Um, oh, the keeper nearly got something to it. I mean, this is as expected. I, I honestly, in all, you know, realism, didn't expect us to be able to do much here. But, come on. Owen again. Go on. Fruit Pug! Fruit Pug scored! That'll do. That'll do. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That'll do. I'm happy with that. We've got a goal. Frimpong scored it. Boom. Keeper was so busy, like, shunting back over to the centre of the goal that he kind of didn't realise Frimpong could have just smashed it in. And one shot, one goal. We're better than you. We're better than you. Our conversion rate, it's better than you. <laughs> wow. Here we come again now. He's giving it away though. Boo, sissy boo. Come on. Come on, push him back. Push him. Here comes three. Yeah, Wallace. Jed Wallace makes it three. Not surprising. It was, like I say, this is a bit of a bonus match. A bit of money in the bank, a nice away day at a football league club, a nice big stadium like the Rico. Gives the players an opportunity to play in front of a bigger crowd in the FA Cup and blah, blah, blah. Would have been a massive ask to come here and got something out of this game. Oh, they've got a fourth. This is getting a bit embarrassing now. Uh, not going to lie. That is a cracking ball, though. Look at that. Damn it. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind. All right. At half time, assertively, I expect much better. I want them to show us a better, a better side of themselves. And Coin is coming off for nobody. He's not coming off. Um, you do deserve a run out in it so you can have one. Try and mix it up a bit on that wing. Addy Bowler's coming on at some point, by the way. It's happening. Here's Owen. Oh, see we Oh, you fucking mong. You mongoose. He's been pissing me off recently, and my... Uh, staff have been continuously saying, just drop him, just drop him, drop him, drop him, drop him. Uh, Owen could come off and Addy Bowler also could come on. Fuck it, we might as well now. You know, he's just completely destroyed any chance of us having a fighting chance of keeping the score line down. So just screw it, let's go for it. Absolute mongoose, Hickman. Absolute mongoose. My staff have been on at me, like I say, for a few weeks. Oh, the £1.2 million pound man has scored. 5-1. 5-1. Colchester. Oh, no. I was just about to say, Colchester are beating somebody 5-1 as well, but that's above us. Oh. Halifax beating Chippenham. Uh, 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 uh. All the other games have got nothing going on. Here's Addy Bowler. Big dealy. Oh. Come on. Well done. Oh, he's giving it away. Well done, Burnett. <laughs> Burnett. I know it's Burnett, but I've... Oh, he's scored again. Well, they've scored again, should I say. 6-1 now. Ouch. Um, fully deserved. I mean, I could have changed things. I could have gone defensive. I could have gone counter, but I don't think it would have made much difference. The golfing class in this match is just absolutely astronomical. They're going to get a 7th. Maybe an 8th, maybe a ninth, maybe a 10th. Marvin Sordell. Hat-trick for Marvin Sordell. (laughs) 
they're getting absolutely bummed. Absolutely bummed. I want, I can't, is it really bad that I kind of want them to get 10 now? I want to see a double, I've never been beaten by double figures before. But now we tighten up, right? Now we've decided, actually lads, let's tighten up a little bit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. There's number eight. I can't, I don't know, I, I doubt they'll get two in the fast five minutes, in the last five minutes, but it's, oh, I suppose they could do. I suppose they could do. <laughs> Game over. Let's pull that. Oh, well, they got eight. Well done to them for that. They, <laughs> don't be harsh on the players after that. The result wasn't ideal. 8 1. 8 1. But they played very well. 8 1. 8 1. Just 8 1. That's all I'm saying. Frimpong had a corker of a game. I'll just go with it. I'm not going to. Yeah, they all switched off. I shouldn't have listened to him. Shouldn't have listened to him. That was stupid of me. Had 30 shots, 30 at a time. Possession wise, though, we matched them in every single step of the way. So I'm happy with that. We got possession out of it, which is good. Interesting to see how many people turned up to that. I think we took about 12 people ourselves. 6,033. That's good. That's good. We've got to have broken some records, though, in terms of uh, defeats in the FA Cup. Oh, good lord. Speak to you about that. Don't worry about your injury, lad. Do what I always do when they get long term injuries. I drop them to the under 21s and then uh, wait for them to get better. You. It wasn't a straight red, but you're getting a warning. If it was a straight red, I'd have found him. I, I tend to find people for straight reds. And it, t people like used to comment on old videos and go, you're really harsh, you're a dickhead. But it. It works. It does end up eventually coming. And if they don't get the idea, one, they lose a bucket load of money from getting sent off all the time, straight reds. And two, they, uh, they get kicked out of the club. Simple as that. I don't tolerate dickheads in life or in football managers. There you go. Uh, but guys, that's it for today's episode. Please hit a like button down below if for nothing but for Marvin Dell's superb hat-trick and the fact that Ali Frimpong managed to score against Coventry in an 8-1 defeat. I think I may be wrong, but I am cer I'm pretty certain that is my biggest ever defeat on Football Manager. Um, I could be wrong. I'm sure somebody will remember one worse. If there was one worse on video or maybe I've done it offline and lost worse. I can't remember. Uh, but let me know down below in the comments what's your worst ever defeat on Football Manager. Uh, guys, I'm out of time for now. Please remember, hit the like button if you're enjoying these. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, it's been a pleasure losing 8-1 in your face. Bye-bye. <laughs>